So Tesla has raised the price on all of their models. The Model 3, the Y, the Model S, and the X. And if you're like me, you've wondered or tried to find all the different price increases on a tracker or a history, or even find a Tesla price history tracker. Well, today I found it. I'll put a link below if you want to take a look at it yourself and skip this whole video. But if you watch to the end of this video and hit the like button, I'm going to tell you my secret on how I'm going to try and still get a Tesla at the old price. So welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching another video and let's get into it. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I used to have a Tesla and I'm probably gonna get another one. I usually make videos about Tesla buying tips and personal finance as well. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. So here is a spreadsheet. You can see there's a ton of data and each of the models are actually separated. The current Model S started at 79,990 and is now 99,990 for the long range model, which is a $20,000 increase. The Model S Plaid started at $120,000 basically and it's now $136,000 or a $16,000 increase. I'm only gonna go through models that are currently available now so we can see the increases in price from when it came out to how it is now. The Model 3 standard range actually started at $37,000 in 2019 and it's now $47,000 which is a $10,000 increase. There's actually a Model 3 that actually is a better deal now than it was when it came out but it's not the Model 3 long range. The Model 3 long range all wheel drive started at $54,000 in 2018, actually went down throughout 2019 and 2020, it came up a little bit, and it's now currently at $55,000 or 54,990, which is actually only a thousand dollar increase from when it came out. So that's super interesting to see that the Model 3 long range all wheel drive is only a thousand dollars more than when it actually came out in 20 and May of 2018. The Model 3 performance was actually $78,000 when it came out in 2018 and has since dropped down to currently a $62,000 or 61,990 which is a $16,000 discount or difference than when it first came out in 2018. Of course, there were tax breaks throughout the early years of the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y, so that's probably why the prices were adjusted a lot, but it's super interesting to see that the Model 3 performance is actually a $16,000 difference than when it first came out in 2018. Moving to the Model X, there's not much that's interesting here. The Model X long range came out at at a starting price of 99,500 in 2018, and it's now $115,000 or a $15,500 difference. The Model X Plaid was $140,000 in 2018, and it's now $139,000, which is a $1,000 decrease in initial price. And lastly, the Model Y long range and performance. The Model Y long range was $51,000 when it was initially released in 2019, and now it's $63,000 which is a $11,000 price increase. This just really just shows how in demand the Model Y is as a crossover in the segment. And there's tons of demand for these type of vehicles in the current market and the price actually just reflects that. The Model Y performance was $60,000 in 2019 and it's now 67,990 or $68,000 which is a $8,000 price increase from 2019 which is just insane for how much it is. If you look at it this way, the Model 3 performance performance is actually the slickest deal with a $16,000 difference or discount from when it actually came out. In terms of what vehicle I would actually recommend to future Tesla buyers today, it would definitely be the Model Y long range and preferably an older price one if possible. It's just a great car with utility and space and just a really good daily driver overall. So hopefully you've made it to the end of the video where I'm actually gonna tell you my secret on, on how I'm actually gonna try and get an older price Tesla reservation today. How you can do that is you can actually go onto the Tesla forums or like the Tesla Motors Club 
or even Facebook groups, you'll probably have a better chance. You can actually find people that try and post their existing reservations with hopefully order prices and you can hopefully try and swap the reservation into your name. I'll make another video that goes into the three different steps or the three different scenarios on how that's actually possible. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested in learning about that. There definitely are older Tesla reservation holders that are trying to get out that are out there. They do pop up from time to time. So definitely you'll have to be patient as it's not going to, as you're not going to find one right away. But yeah, these are all the different price increases from the beginning and I'll paste a link below to the spreadsheet that goes through all of them. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions on Tesla buying or Tesla financing. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. All right guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.